There's a great deal that we don't know about the aging process, but we're learning more every day. Maintenance of good skin care and protection against the sun are the two best ways to preserve the youthful look we all desire. There's no reason why someone in their 60s or 70s can't have radiant, healthy-looking skin, provided they give their skin the proper care. The skin is composed of two layers of tissue. The epidermis that protects our bodies from the elements and acts as a barrier for bacteria. And the dermis that's made up largely of collagen and elastin, elements necessary for the maintenance of skin tone. And then there's the subcutaneous or fatty layer that acts as an insulator or a cushion for the body. Over time, exposure to the sun and the aging process cause damage to the elastic tissue and collagen content of the dermis. These effects are seen as wrinkles and furrows where there used to be smooth surfaces on the skin. The result is a loss of the straight jawline, a wrinkling of the skin around the neck, and a deepening of the furrow that runs from the nose to the outer lip. At the same time as these changes are taking place, the fatty tissue around the eyes becomes more visible and the upper eyelids begin to droop, in some instances actually interfering with a person's vision. This condition may result in a tired and haggard appearance, making a person appear older than they actually are. There are three procedures used to rejuvenate the appearance of the face. A facelift allows for the tightening of loose and sagging skin and the reestablishment of a straight jawline. The second procedure, blepharoplasty, is an operation that removes drooping and excessive skin and fat from the eyelids and eliminates the tired, haggard look. For years, my eyes tended to look drawn and tired, so I basically wanted my look to be more consistent with how I felt inside. My family is pleasantly surprised. They don't know right off, or they didn't, so a couple times I've gotten some photographs out and we've had fun kind of looking at the changes. But uh, yes, they um, are very happy that I did it. Also, that they can't see any effects from having it done. In the third procedure, a CO2 laser is used to resurface the skin. The laser removes the fine wrinkles on the face by vaporizing the water in the superficial skin, allowing for the regrowth of new skin with new collagen and a reorganization of the architecture of the cells. The CO2 laser has been a great technological advance for the improvement of the aging face. The results can be quite dramatic. A straight jawline, smooth skin, loss of puffiness around the eyes, and a generally relaxed and rested appearance. Facelift, eyelid, and laser procedures are all done on an outpatient basis at the Keith Surgery Center for Cosmetic Surgery. And the reason I decided to have this done is because I was getting old and I didn't like looking old and I wanted to look younger, and I didn't like the wrinkles I had on my face. And I have adult children, and they all said, oh, Mom, I need to do something, so I said, let's do it. Well, I didn't let anyone see me until I totally recovered, and they were amazed. And when I went back to work, some people knew, and they could hardly wait to see me. They touched me. They said, oh, you look so great. And I said, yes, I do.